Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are here this evening to celebrate the centenary of the foundation stone laying at the Gertianum in Dornach, Switzerland, 100 years ago, in the evening at this time. And we're also here to celebrate the unveiling of the capstone that Frank has created for our future new building. Uh, welcome, and thank you for being here. And uh, so to start off this correctly, I would thank uh, Hi Mock. I'd like to thank Richard Traverso here, who provided this facility for us in the middle of Silicon Valley. They buried a foundation stone in Switzerland for the first building that was centered about and around the invisible. Something that cannot be seen, okay? that becomes manifested into the world and is now seen. So, uh, I'm going to explain the evolution of this building and then after that I will talk about the discovery of the new form and then how that new form becomes a, a building that's like nothing else on the planet. Okay, so the first thing I'll start out with is the first uh, impulse that Real Center had was uh, a model was made and and that model, okay, had a floor plan like this. was one over built and that was very unusual because during the time before they were mainly circular so uh, it looked like this it's a model and I'm putting this up here so that you can see these things after my lecture and what this is the model and you can walk into it it's you know it's probably this high it's not very high so um, during this time, Rudolf Steiner had, had found that he could uh, make words and music visible. And he did this through a new art called Eurythmy. And he did a lot of other things, and the society wanted a building so that they could present this and also mystery plays that he had created. And so they decided that uh, they would get a, a property in Munich, and that property in Munich, uh, was a, a, a gift, but uh, the problem is with it is uh, he couldn't get a building permit. <laughs> this was the building. Uh, it had two domes, it was huge, and all around it were oh, um, other places where people could live, or, uh, or uh, so on and so forth, whatever. And this is the floor plan of that building. Now, this isn't very clear, but uh, you can come up to it and, it, and it will be. So, anyway, um, this is the, uh, the inside of this building here, and then drawing. And then, the next one that he had going here was uh, this form. This is a model. These are all models. This was never built because they couldn't get a building permit. So somebody said, okay, I'll tell you what, since we can't get that, I've got a piece of property in Switzerland. And he donated, uh, Dennis donated this property in Switzerland, okay, a huge amount of property. And so he designed a building. Uh, that I have a model. Uh, and it looks like this. Well, that's the floor plan of the second building. The third building looks like this. And here it is. This is the actual model that he made on wax. This is a casting. It's not original. This is a casting of that one that he made. It's out of wax. And this was the size. And it was a double dome, just like the second building that he tried to do in Munich. 
And the second dome was never done, ever. And so they had all kinds of problems. Like how are we going to keep them from separating? And so architects worked with him for two years, okay, drawing up a building like this. And this is what the building looked like after they got through in a model. Now you can see that they've come a long ways. But that took two years. Now, so, and this is the floor plan. It has a double dome. Now, one of the things that happened here is that uh, these architects and the geometry was really working together. And these are the two domes. Um, these, these two domes here, um, right there, are drawn geometrically. And you'll notice that there's a dotted line around the outside of the spheres, and then there's a solid line, okay, that also is included. And what he did was he took two dodecahedrons, and he put them together. And this was the foundation stone, but it was much bigger. It's like this big, huge, made out of copper. He put cubes, pyrite cubes, in the center of each one. The bigger one, he put a smaller one in, and the smaller one, he put a bigger cube. Now, a cube is the, uh, the symbol for Earth, okay? So what he was doing is trying to ground this into, into the dirt, into the ground. Uh, and what he did was consider this one was the uh, microcosmic, and this is the on the macrocosmic, this is the microcosmic. And these are both fresh relate to the human being. So it's five pentagram times 12. So this is what he had built. And inside this, he also put some inscriptions and writing and so forth that was very esoteric. And all of that, what he put in there is in here, if you want to read it. Uh, I'm not going to repeat that, but because it's uh, very lengthy. So, what he did is that he took a sphere and put it around this one, and he took a sphere and put it around this one, and when they came together, they had to be fused together because they, they can be separate. This has to be closed. So what happens when you put a sphere around a big one and a, or a sphere around a little one, you get this. Well, this is the dodecahedron that's large and a small one that was designed around these two capitals, or um, uh, spheres. So what he did is he separated this, and he put a base underneath it, like this, and there you go to the original design. Well, this is how he worked. So this foundation stone was laid in this time in, um, a hundred years, exactly to this very day and time of evening. It was a full moon around 7, 7.30. And this celebration of this laying of this capstone, uh, foundation stone, is coordinated in now in Doorknock, right now where the building was, and in California, uh, and other areas across the country. One of them is at the Rose Center College in Burroughs the same time this is going. Okay, so um, if I can get you up to speed here, I want to show you um, the finished product. Which is here. This is the real building. There it is here. Now, it took 10 years to do this. And on the Christmas, on New Year's evening, um, 10 years later, someone set it afire. An arson. And it completely burned. Gone. Not here anymore. And this is the way it looked before, and the top picture is after it's gone.
completely destroy it. So they bulldoze over the foundation uh, and so forth, but right after it burned, Ruiz Conner got right back to work and designed a new one. He designed a new building. And I think after about three weeks, he had it done. And this is a model of the new building. That's his model on a clay. So I will kind of catch this up a little bit. So uh, if you want to, you can see this on the board. Um, here is the floor plan of the two cupolas. And now we have a model of the next one, or the last one, or the, the one that he did in clay. And a year after he did this in clay, he crossed the threshold. Oh, uh, well that didn't stop the construction of this building. People came from all over the world to try to work on this building. There's the floor plan. Now you can see that this one right here is really different than what he did here. Because what he did is he took this floor and turned it inside out and made this one. And this is a reversal. And that's what he did. So this is an organic structure that's like, this was made out of wood. Very organic. This is the first reinforced concrete building in history. And I tell you, it's solid, it's a fortress. Now, nobody's going to burn this one. So, let's see what I have here. I have a picture of the real one. This is the one that's in Switzerland now. Okay, so the foundation stone uh, is also under that building. They didn't put a new one in, it's the same one. And they dug a hole, they had nine steps down, and dedicated this by bringing it in, and they had straps on the end of the foundation stone, and they lowered it down. So I don't know how far that is, but it's far out. It's probably nine or ten feet deep. Okay, so, and during that time, a huge storm came in. Lightning and thunder, and only 30 people showed up. So, it's so about what we got here. What's well, interesting? Oh, it's about the same. And here it is. Here's the dodecahedron. Here's the dodecahedron in the two. There's also a dodecahedron in the center where those two come together. So he put a star in the big one, and in this smaller circle here was another star. On this, one. just work out in a different way. So. You're trying to wonder, well, where's that circle? I didn't see that circle, so two circles. But see, when you put two circles together, as far as spheres are concerned, yes, you do get two circles. But you also get that circle where the two come together. So there's one here, one here, and one here. See how that works? Now the geometry and relationship between this circle and that circle, this half circle, which is full, is there are two pentagrams. Pentagrams are the symbol for the human being, as far as geometry is concerned. Okay, so this is another view of that building that's there now. And you can see that it's a lot different than this one. And the reason is, is because that one was based on, hey, we need offices. This didn't have offices. Uh, we need a real modern stage. This didn't have a modern stage. Okay? It had all of the modern conveniences so forth. So what they did is in this building is they decided, well, how are we going to remember this building? And this, because it's different. Look at the floor plan. All angles, curled in the earth. So what they did is they took, they decided to take this and put it inside this space right here. So that if you go to this building, you'll see the two domes that was from the original, up on the top, with all the paintings and so forth. You'll see all the, all the columns and all the capitals and the archetypes that go across the part of the capitals.
which is the tone, okay? And all these things that were in this original building were unseen that he brought into being able to see, which I will explain. Okay, so now I want to tell you that I, in my view, this is known as fire, okay? And this is known as air. It's never built in the air. This one's known as water, because it's organic. And this one's known as earth. Well, this is an alchemical process that the building went through. And this building is really, really grounded. I'm not getting you that's not going to move. Uh, we have bombs going over, that's where we go. This is a fortress. I'm not telling you, it is. And you go see it, it's unbelievable. Look at it. Okay. So I look at this this way. This one never made it. This is fire. Okay, this one didn't either, but this one got a model of a building that had a property. So let's basically go on a little bit more uh, into air. This is very thin. This is a little thicker. This one into water. And water is what changes. And of course, earth, okay, is what's stable. So this is what I see going on. I see this process. Kind of like this. Okay. 